A man who was taken into custody in relation to the New Year's Day shooting has not been charged in relation to the incident, but remains in custody on unrelated matters. At approximately 5 a.m. Thursday, January the 1st, 2015, police were called to a residence in the 1900 block of 36th Street Southwest for reports <coughs> shots were fired at a house party where more than 50 people were in attendance. Six people received injuries ranging from minor to stable, to serious but stable, pardon me. A seventh victim was transported to hospital in life-threatening condition where he succumbed to his injuries. He has been identified as Abdul Abduhali Ahmed, 26 of Calgary. At approximately 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, January the 8th, 2015, a man was taken into custody from a residence in southwest Calgary. At the same time, Two search warrants were executed at homes in southwest Calgary. The search and collection of evidence <coughs> where, the, where the shooting occurred has been completed. A significant amount of CCTV surveillance footage has been collected and we are still currently reviewing that footage. It is believed a man in custody was an invited guest to the party. Investigators continue to work to determine the motive for the attack and the exact sequence of events. The man is no longer in custody in relation to the shooting. The service would sincerely like to thank the witnesses who have come forward, the public and the media for their assistance. Detectives continue to ask anyone who may have been at the party or in the area at the time to contact police or Crime Stoppers anonymously. I'll take your questions. So, sir, you said he's no longer in custody that's correct. Does that mean he's no longer a suspect in the shooting? Uh, absolutely not. Um, Is he in, in custody on, on un, those other charges? Unrelated charges to an incident that occurred outside of Calgary, in relation to an incident that occurred outside of Calgary. Sorry, Jeremy. Can we see what those charges are? Uh, no, we can't say at this time. So how much CCT footage was actually uh, recovered or retrieved? Well, a significant amount. Could you put an hour amount on that by mm. chance? I would just be guessing at this time. But we haven't, we're more than a week away now and we haven't reviewed all of it, so. Can you speak to why he hasn't been charged in connection with the shooting? Well, he hasn't been charged because uh, we don't have the evidence to support a charge at this time after consultation with the uh, Crown Prosecutor's Office. And what did lead you to take him into custody in the first place? This is still an ongoing investigation. We had grounds to arrest that individual, um, but after consultation with uh, the Crown, we weren't in the position to lay a charge at this time. Can you elaborate on the two search warrants? You said it was two separate, was it two residences that the search warrants were at? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. And how are they connected to the suspect? How are they connected? We really can't get into those details at the time for uh, the integrity of the investigation. Where is this man from when I was in custody? Um, he's not from Calgary on a long going, on a long standing basis. However, uh, we don't know how long he had been in custody, or he had been in Calgary prior to uh, the incident. No known address that you can speak to about Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto? Well, we know that he didn't reside on a long standing basis in Calgary. Oh, absolutely. We have we have had uh, cooperation ranging on the spectrum from people being fully cooperative to those not being cooperative at all, and then in the spectrum in between. So, but we are definitely looking for witnesses to come forward so we can um, obtain the evidence necessary to solve this crime and lay charges for those responsible. In your view, are there more people that you believe can come forward or could come forward with this? With oh, absolutely. There are. There were over 50 people at that party. Um, there's definitely more individuals that saw more details that have not come forward to provide us with the necessary evidence that we require to, to lay a charge. How have Toronto Police been helping in this investigation? 
Well, we have uh, reached out to a number of different agencies to help us uh, with the investigation in relation to background checks on individuals who we believed uh, were at the party. Oh, it wasn't random. We believe uh, we believe it stemmed from an uh, altercation that occurred at the party. Did you provide any more detail about what that altercation may have consisted of? Was, was it a fight, a verbal argument? Well, again, we're really not clear um, on the extent of the altercation. If we had more people come forward. Um, we'd be able to answer more of your questions. We're thankful for those that have come forward, for sure, to lead us to the point in the investigation where we were able to at least uh, arrest an individual for this incident. And we won't stop until this investigation is, is solved. This is a huge public safety issue where you have seven people shot. We're gonna do everything we can to solve this investigation. We've spoken a lot with the, the other victims, the shooting victims that, that did survive. Have they we've, been cooperative? We've spoken to all the shooting victims. And again, like the witnesses, some have been very cooperative and some have been not cooperative at all.